Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. Asha and Lata are two sisters. Asha's age right now is the two-digit number AB, and Lata's age right now is the two-digit number CD. If you write Lata's age after Asha's age, you get the four-digit number ABCD, and it happens to be a perfect square number. An interesting thing happens if you repeat the exercise in 11 years. If again you write Lata's age after Asha's age, you get a four-digit number that also happens to be a perfect square. The question is how old are Asha and Lata currently? In other words, solve for the two-digit number AB and the two-digit number CD. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Recall the difference of squares formula. x squared minus y squared is equal to the quantity x plus y multiplied by the quantity x minus y. This is a fun equation to illustrate geometrically. Suppose we have a square with an area equal to x squared and another square with an area equal to y squared. If we subtract the smaller square's area from the larger square's area, we get the area x squared minus y squared but we can also calculate the area in another way. This shape will be the composition of two different rectangles. One rectangle will have one side length equal to y and another side length equal to x minus y. The other rectangle will have one side length equal to x and the other side length equal to x minus y. We can join the two sides that have length equal to x minus y. We will then get a larger rectangle where one side is equal to x minus y, and the other side is equal to x plus y. Thus, the same area can be represented by the area of this rectangle, which is equal to the quantity x plus y multiplied by the quantity x minus y. We will use this equation to solve the problem. Now we have the ages a, b, and c, d, and we know that a, b, c, d is equal to a perfect square so I'll write it as equal to y squared for some integer y. In 11 years, Asha's age will be ab plus 11, and Lata's age will be cd plus 11. In other words, we need to add 11 to each of the digits a, b, c, and d. So we can add 11, 11 to a, b, c, d, the four digit number, and then we will get another perfect square. So we have a, b, c, d plus 11, 11, is equal to another perfect square, which we'll write as x squared for another integer x. Now consider these two equations. We will subtract the y squared equation from the x squared equation. When we do that, we will cancel out the four digit number a, b, c, d, and we get 11, 11 is equal to x squared minus y squared. From here, we can use the difference of squares formula. We'll factor the right hand side. It'll be equal to the quantity x plus y multiplied by the quantity x minus y. We can then factor 11, 11, and that's equal to 11 multiplied by 101. Now recall that x squared and y squared are four digit numbers. This means x and y have to be integers between 32 and 99. Any lower, you won't get a four digit number, and any higher, you won't get a four digit number either. This means x plus y cannot be equal to 11, 11. This is because x and y have a maximum value of 99. So x plus y and x minus y are integer factors of 11, 11. 11 times 101 is the prime factorization. Therefore, x plus y must be the proper factor 101, and x minus y will be the factor of 11. We can then add these two equations together to cancel out the y terms. We then get 112 is equal to 2x, which means 56 is equal to x. We can then look at this equation and see that x minus y is equal to 11, which means y is equal to 45. We will then recall that y squared is equal to abcd, 
we thus need to square 45, and that's equal to 2025. And thus, we can solve that AB is equal to 20 and CD is equal to 25. Asha's age is 20 and Lata's age is 25. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.